What is up, Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Before I begin, Hal Steinbrenner, Brian Cashman, have you guys checked uh, Aaron Boone's phone yet for betting apps? Because either Aaron Boone is betting against his own team, pulling up Pete Rose, or he's possibly one of the dumbest managers ever to manage a prestigious professional sports team like the New York Yankees. Has anybody considered ringing up the FBI yet and asking them if Aaron Boone is being extorted by the Russian mafia or something? I'm not saying to do it because there's crazy people on the internet that will, but it's a figure of speech. This guy is giving away games for free. <laughs> for free. This guy's a complete moron. Either he's betting on games or this guy has the IQ of a damn flamingo or something. And for the animal rights activists out there, I'm not, you know, putting down flamingos. But, you know, Aaron Boone is a human being, and he is really functioning with a very low IQ. Because it could be two reasons, like I said. He's betting on games, or the man, or, or, or this, three, three choices. He's either betting on games, has a low IQ, or he wants to get fired. But I'm leaning more to that this man just has a low IQ. This guy's a complete moron. Did you guys catch his uh, post-game comments? He said that the only reason, the reason why Henny, I don't even know how to pronounce his name at this point because I'm just tired. I'm sick and tired of that guy. Anyways, the only reason why he was warming up and came into the game is because Aaron Boone believes that he's been hurt by the home run ball and his stuff is there. <laughs> yeah, that's what the guy said. And let's not forget, Sal Romano pitched in this game as well after Rizzo tied the game. Wow, this guy's just throwing away games. I'm pretty sure it's not the analytical nerds pulling moves like this, and this falls on Boone. This can't be the nerds behind the scenes. This is all on Boone. And I'm going to point this out. When the Yankees snapped their 13 winning streak, Jeff Poisson of ESPN, Yankees fans were mad at that time when he t tweeted it out. He pointed to the fact that even though the Yankees won 13 games, their stats in what, uh, home runs, hitting, runs scored, whatever, were pretty low compared to the rest of Major League Baseball teams. And what he was trying to say is that it was basically luck that the Yankees went on that 13-game winning streak. And look at that. They are doing the same thing, and they're losing now. So it could work to their advantage and to their disadvantage. Here, let's play a clip of this dumbass in his post-game interview. It's the same repetitive, played-out, Post-game interview where Aaron Boone wants to go home to maybe his lavish uh, Midtown apartment. You know, have you ever seen that movie, The Super, with uh, Joe Pesci, where he's in the uh, South Bronx in poor living conditions? I think this is where Aaron Boone needs to be shipped off to. And not to uh, sound like I'm discriminating against people that live in areas like that. But it's a really good analogy if you have seen that movie. If you haven't watched it, it's about some rich guy, a landlord, right? And he loses a court case or whatever. The judge says, hey, you need to live in this actual building that you own now. And when Joe Pesci becomes a complete bum, he finds peace within himself and he realizes that he shouldn't have been a douchebag. This is what Aaron Boone needs to realize. He needs to realize that, yeah, you're the manager of the New York Yankees, the most famous sports team ever. You're getting paid millions of dollars or whatever he's doing. Maybe he lost that money. This is why he's being extorted by the Russian mafia and he's betting on games. But whatever, he needs to come to peace with himself and say, I do not deserve being the manager in the New York Yankees. But anyways, let's listen to this dumbass speak. Aaron, before the game, you said this team still controls its own destiny, but with the way they have been playing and just 22 games left remaining, do you feel like your playoff chances are starting to slip away? No, no, 
Absolutely not. I mean, we just had a horrible home stand. It's not, it's not okay. You know, we're pissed off about it. Um, but we've, we've been through this throughout the season. We're up against it again. Um, and we look forward to going out and, and turning this around tomorrow. We know it can turn just as quick as it's, it's gone sideways here over the last 10 days or so. Um, no, absolutely. We expect to, to get it rolling. Um, obviously <laughs> we need to, it, it needs to happen. Um, but we're in control of that. Now, let me ask you a question. Is that a guy that you want managing your team in the hunt for a playoff spot? which they are tied now with the Toronto Blue Jays, the A's, or even catching up to them. Is that the guy that you want leading you to the World Series for number 28? Do you even believe that he believes in what he's saying? All of his post-game interviews sound the same. Repetitive. Yeah, we're turning the corner. Yeah, Henny, everybody knows Henny sucks, but... um. Boone doesn't. He believes he's been hurt by the home run ball. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, Cashman, by the way, people that have been following me on this channel for years now, I have brought this up numerous times. The Achilles heel of the New York Yankees is pitching. Brian Cashman single-handedly imploded the Yankee season by obtaining Andrew Heaney. And that's a fact. Just imagine... If Brian Cashman never pulled the trigger for Anthony Rizzo. Because we all know how Gallo's playing. Setting records for how many at-bats and how many strikeouts. Whatever. Do you guys know, before, I wasn't a fan of making that trade. I wanted a contact hitter, high average guy on this team. But yeah, the fact is Gallo's a Yankee. We can't go back in time. But he has shown a little bit of that clutch gene, and I do like his arm and his athleticism. Maybe he'll get hot when it counts. Maybe he'll bash a whole bunch of home runs. Who knows? But for now, yeah. That deadline without Anthony Rizzo, yeah, that would have shown you who Brian Cashman really is and who we believe Brian Cashman has been for a while now. Moving along, let's make this short and sweet. Send Gleyber Torres to the moon. Trade him this offseason. This guy's power has disappeared. This guy's a complete bum. If you guys know, Gleyber Torres spends more time playing video games than he actually plays baseball. Or actually knows how to play baseball at this point. Where's this guy's head at? I've never seen somebody regress like that. His regression is by as far as worse as Gary Sanchez's regression was at one point. If I were the Yankees, you trade Glaber Torres this offseason. I don't care what you get, get rid of him. There's going to be a whole bunch of shortstops available this incoming free agency. Do what you have to do. And again, I've never been a big fan of Gio. If you heard me, I said the Yankees should trade him because comparing his down years to the years that he was actually good, the bad years outnumber the good years. Let's put it like this. I know me, my intuition said, once Gleyber Torres and once Gio Sherlock come back, this team is going to go back to the losing ways. I just had that intuition. I know a whole bunch of Yankees fans had it as well. And look at that. The Yankees suck again. Because I don't know what's happening. Maybe it's the chemistry. Maybe it was the new guys on the ball club that wanted to play, that want to play, that want to be Yankees. Maybe these other guys are just, I don't know. Their heads are not in it. But yeah, send these two bums, Torres and Urshela, to the moon. I know Gio could field, but get rid of Torres. This guy is a complete failure. I wasn't on the uh, bashing Glaber Torres wagon, but now I am. This guy sucks. Don't know why Jill and Torres are playing. Sit them out. And maybe we'll see these Yankees win games again. And by the way, Voight is the bloodline to this clubhouse. Voight 
is the only reason why the Yankees went on that winning streak in the first place. Do not sit Boyd out. Keep playing him. I don't care about DH this, DH that. Put him in the lineup. Stan is getting paid millions of dollars. Put him in the outfield. Use that recipe. Stop being little crying babies. Oh, Stan is going to injure himself. Who the f*** cares at this point? Put Boyd in this lineup as an everyday player. Hey, by the way, did you catch his home run? That was an angry home run. That was a Stone Cold Steve Austin 316 home run. One of those Aaron Boone is a f idiot, and I'm going to murder this ball out this ballpark. Same as uh, Gary Sanchez's home run as well. That was an angry home run. This is what we got to see from these players. But when you got a moron like uh, Aaron Boone managing this team, yeah, your chances of getting a playoff spot or even going far in the playoffs, your chances are slim. Send Aaron Boone to the moon. Send Haney to the moon. Send Glaber Torres to the moon. Send uh, whatever player who's been inconsistent and any time they play the Yankees lose, send them to the moon. Matter of fact, send them to a black hole where their existence would completely disappear. This is text-to-speech. Oops, I completely forgot Chapman. Send him to the moon as well. <laughs> By the way, the Long Island Yankee King got banned off Twitter, and ever since he got banned, the Yankees just started losing. I just want to mention that fact. So if uh, Long Island Ice-T, whatever your name is, is hearing this, y hey, the curse is on. I guess you getting banned, curse the Yankees. So, Yankees fans, like always, this has been Fields from M1News.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time.